My name is Martin Matu, one of the directors of Chad Africa Limited and also the chairman of the board of uh, directors of the company. Uh, the company was incorporated in 2013, um, doing other businesses, but we started venturing in real estate uh, from the year 2014. Shard Africa has evolved over the time. We did several other uh, different businesses before we came to think of real estate. And uh, so we, we, we were doing uh, farming, uh, we had a company called uh, Chad Farm before uh, we incorporated Chad Africa. And uh, because of the challenges that we encountered when we were uh, doing uh, a, a house for, a residential house for our own use, uh, we had challenges that uh, pushed us to think of uh, venturing in real estate. When we were doing the construction of our home, we faced some challenges and the challenges was trust issues in the real estate. When we were looking for ad, we went to do uh, due diligence and such, but we realized that there was a lot of double allocation of land. Most of the time, the client could have lost the money. They had earned cash to fraudulent land sellers. Again, uh, we had very many stories of people who, who have been conned and who really wanted to construct their own home, but they couldn't be able to do it. We also feel the challenges of uh, construction uh, itself, because uh, outside there, they are not trusted people to do the construction work. You, you, you face challenges of theft of materials and such. And therefore, we saw as a very big gap that needed somebody to fill it. And, um, we started it. And that's where the dream uh, of real estate came by. And we started that because of the uh, issues that homeowners or aspiring homeowners face, or those that are constructing houses for their own use face, because uh, of the difficult challenges with the managing the construction, challenges with the fundies who sometimes uh, tell you that they are bringing quality materials and they do something different and so on and so forth. So that's what pushed us to, to venture into this uh, uh, field so that we can be able to solve the challenges that uh, people face when they are trying to construct houses for themselves. The company uh, aims to be a world-class real estate institution that offers affordable homes quality homes and homes in serene environment uh, that provides homely uh, facilities for persons and their families and even uh, uh, their relatives. We have been in existence for close to 10 years now and uh, we have done several developments. Uh, we had a house along Vika Road as our first venture uh, in Membre Park Estate. Uh, we developed it in uh, between 2014 and 2015 and then we uh, sold it aloud 2016. It's a, uh, one of the developments that gave us a lot of lessons and challenges uh, because after developing we had challenges with the marketing, uh, the product and because of the uh, cost of land in that particular area uh, it took us a bit of time to sell that particular property and then we came and that's why we came over to this side of Kitengela. The one that followed is Mirimani Homes, a bagaro. The reason why we decided now to do a bagaro is because it was cheaper to construct and therefore it, we would sell it faster and which we did, we sold it immediately. We went to Global Village, we did another bagaro. When we were constructing Global Village we realized that people want a gated community and therefore the funds that we had, uh, we had saved through the uh, selling of the three units, we 
we bought a rad in Mirimani. So we went back to Mirimani again. We bought a rad of one acre and, and a half. We constructed seven units in a gated community and we sold them out. They were three bedrooms, all in suit. We had another uh, venture called Acacia Premier Virus. Which had that eight units and uh, we were able to uh, by grace of God to also uh, sell the units and uh, we are now in this development where we are hoping to have 56 units. When, when we completed selling Acacia, we were given more comments by our clients so that, that we may consider when we go to the next project. And now the, the next project that you are talking about is this one, the, the ongoing one, Pinebrook Premier Virus, has 56 units, three and four bedrooms. Three bedrooms, they have only one balcony at the master bedroom. Four bedrooms, they have balconies in all bedrooms. They have an open American design for kitchen and the rooftop is huge for holding parties. The estate is near to the road and like other estates that we have done. We also have a crab house which will have a mini mat with also a gym, salon and, and, and barber shop and also some offices uh, in the club house. Uh, at, the, at the moment we have already, deal, we have already drilled uh, borehole water. We have in, uh, water insufficient here. And uh, we are doing, we have already started doing the water, uh, wastewater system. In, uh, you know Kitagera is dry and sometimes the city may be very costly to water glass uh, and loan we are using uh, the clean water so we will be recycling that water from the wastewater treatment plant to water the green area of the estate after pine brook we are looking forward to even expanding further uh, because as part of the our goal to support the government also in its objective of uh, pro providing affordable housing um, we, we are hoping in the next 10 years would have provided housing to over 200 clients besides uh, those that uh, will be accommodating here. We specialize in residential housing and uh, we, we are doing modern housing. As you can see, uh, our design is unique. Uh, we uh, make sure that we provide the clients uh, adequate space. We make sure that we provide our clients with the houses that uh, are, are, are accommodative to the families and uh, even you can bring relatives and we provide an uh, environment where clients can uh, interact in a gated community where maybe they may have savings in terms of security, enjoy security and good secure environment at uh, affordable costs as opposed to someone uh, constructing a standalone house somewhere, enjoying other amenities like the water, uh, electricity, and enjoying other facilities, including the interactions and playgrounds for children, so that then they enjoy those facilities without having to get out of the, the compound. Chad Africa Limited is a running company. We listen to our clients and they recommended for a gated community and Mirimani was one of them. From Mirimani to Acacia, they said they wanted a modern house. We had to do a, a modern flat roof virus. From Acacia to here, we introduced one bedroom and also we added uh, balconies and we made all the rooms to be in suit. Uh, the other thing that makes us different is that people are able to, we are, trust, we are trustworthy company uh, this one is because you, when you book your house, even if you're in a diaspora, and we tell you that we are going to finish it by this particular time, by the time that you are, you, we will finish, we always deliver on time. Again, we do modern houses. Uh, 
that's why you find that we you will find that we are engaging very many consultants to make sure that the, uh, their expertise is well implemented in the project that we are doing. Third Africa is a company that is uh, trusted and uh, we stand for honesty, transparency in all our transactions and therefore clients do not have fear uh, buying from us. We finish the product and allow the clients to move in before we move to the, to the next phase. Our property is modern, as you can see uh, the units you, you see here are not like the usual units you find everywhere. So they are tastefully designed, uh, carefully thought about in terms of uh, uh, how to give, uh, how to, uh, the product that we, we envision to give to, to our clients. The space that we provide you will not find in uh, most of the uh, uh, developments that you find around. So we make sure that we provide, we have housing that the, once the residents move in, they will not feel moving out. And it will be very accommodative for, uh, to them. Uh, the um, other third thing that uh, uh, you should buy from us, for us we do our projects in secure environments. Uh, I know uh, insecurity is one of the challenges that people face and uh, it is one of the things that we uh, pay great attention to. So we take this opportunity to thank God for enabling us to reach where we are now. If it was not for him, I don't know where we could be. I want to recognize the, the effort the family, our family has put into this business. Uh, the two co-directors and our children, our clients, the local clients, diaspora clients, for trusting us, for liking our product, for committing and sitting through the process of purchase. Thank you even for uh, becoming marketers uh, to, to, our, to our products. We are so grateful that you are, you are happy with the product, the product that you got. We have three departments. The first department is sales and marketing. My role here at Chad Africa Limited is developing sales and marketing strategy tools that will be used by the whole department in the marketing and all marketing activities. The second role is managing and overseeing uh, all, all field work activities that includes flyer distribution, um, activations, and visiting government and non-government organizations. The main purpose of doing flyer distributions in various government institutions and other organizations is to make sure that our product, that is our projects, are well known to all people who are working in those organizations. I spearhead all the marketing activities that, that involves our clients, those who have visited us, those who have made inquiries on our social media platforms and websites, and follow up with them so that we can convert them to be homeowners and investors. For those clients who visit us on site, we take them around our estate and also we show them our, our show house. At the same time, we introduce to them our our various projects which are ongoing, like Pinebrook Mumia Villas and Milimani Homes for them to have a variety of choice, maybe to, to decide on which project to set or on, depending with their budget. Finally, I coordinate with other departments to ensure that there is smooth workflow in the company. My name is Ogeto from Chad Africa Limited, uh, from the digital marketing uh, department, as well as the IT department. I have been with Chad Africa since 2020. The journey has been good as far as digital marketing is concerned. I've been able to enjoy uh, this journey as a marketer as well. I've been also uh, been able to learn all the digital marketing perspectives in regards to selling houses in our digital media platforms. Uh, my strategies as a digital marketer include uh, interacting with clients in various platforms, no technology has changed with the time. We have uh, social media platforms like Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram and all others like TikTok. So we have to be up to speed with the dynamics uh, in terms of digital marketing. In the next five years, I believe that Chad Africa is going to be one of the most prominent companies that is going to be trusted by the clients who want to buy a house in that anytime you need a house 
will be able to come to Chad Africa as a trusted company in terms of real estate. So I believe Chad Africa is going to be the only, like among the most trusted uh, real estate companies in the country and Africa at large. That is the department responsible for marketing the company and also selling our products. We have a uh, finance and administration. This is the department that facilitates uh, the whole, the, the clients and the workers as far as uh, finance is concerned and administration. My name is Bryson Zomo. I'm the head of the finance and administration department. My roles in the finance departments are being an interlink between the suppliers and the customers. We also maintain the financial reports of the, of the company. We also ensure that all the documentation when it comes to the invoicing, the cash shells, and any kind of receipts are well maintained and easily retrievable. We prepare and maintain accurate financial reports. We also ensure that uh, there is a proper link between the customers and the suppliers. We also ensure that the documentation of all invoices and cash shells and any receipt and also any, any accounting document is well maintained and can be easily retrieved. My role as a, an administration uh, person is that I, I am a link to all the departments, that is the marketing, the technical and also the finance department. We ensure that everything that entails administration is well, well catered in, in the company. When I joined Chad Africa, I was still in a finance and administration person, but I, I had not uh, worked in a real estate company. So it provided me a chance to work in the building and construction industry, which so far I will say it's a very nice experience. Uh, having interacted with the different people who are involved in the real estate sector. My name is Tere Nyamburambao, Chad Africa Limited site supervisor. I joined Chad Africa Limited when they were doing Akisha Premier Villas. Akisha Premier Villas is a gated community estate comprising of 38 units. In that project we were doing three bedrooms, master and suite, and it had a DSQ. Let's know the estate has been occupied. Now we are in a new project that is Pinebrook Premier Villas. We are doing three and four bedrooms. They are all in suit. They have, they have DSQs. My daily duties is to quality control, to oversee that every work that has been carried out, it is good quality work. And that's why we normally even tell our clients to book for houses that even the other construction because we want them to see what we are doing. When we are doing the foundation, we want them to see what kind of foundation that we have done. The quality of stone that we are using, because when we are doing the walling, we normally take some few stones and we take them to the rub for the testing to see how strong the stones are. Also, when we are doing the casting of the shrubs, we normally call our client to see what kind of foundation that we are doing. And we normally take some proportion and we take them to the rub so that we can see how strong the foundation is. So we document everything, maybe like stones, we have the documents that saying that this kind of stone is how strong it is, what kind of foundation that we have done. My next duty is, is to receive materials. Not just to receive materials, but to make sure that every materials that is getting into our site, they are good qualities. Even our suppliers know that we don't compromise on, on quality and once they bring materials that they are not of good quality, we normally even return them. Because if there is not something that we cannot compromise, is quality. Also my other duties is to prepare a work plan. You know you can't just wake up and say maybe we want to do plaster, we want to do tiling. You must prepare yourself early enough so that every step we can be done accordingly. We don't want to, to, to wake up and find that maybe we did tiling before the plaster work, you know. We must prepare ourselves early enough and by doing that we normally come up with checklist where every subcontractor use their checklist to make sure that they have not jumped any step so that we can know who is starting. Maybe if it is Prasta work, they have already completed their Prasta work so that now we can get in fitting of the tiles. My experience with Chad Africa, I can say it has been quite good because when I was joining Chad Africa, I didn't know much about construction, but right now is, I can say I've gained a lot of knowledge because I can tell all the process, all the steps that we normally needed to do, maybe when we are doing the superstructure of the house, when we need to do the painting works, when we want to do the tiling works, I know what we need, all the quality measures that we should take. 
when doing the construction. And I'm also able to differentiate between good quality and what is not quality. So thank you so much to the technical department which oversees the work of the contractors and, uh, and suppliers and also the consultants. As a contractor, we have been uh, specialized with different sections in the building, as you know. And uh, what we have is uh, we have the foreman for the steelworks, we have the foreman for uh, side of timber and uh, side of plumbing works, electrical works. We have specialized people on those works uh, so that we can be able to have a quality product as per the client's uh, uh, desires. As you know, we are dealing with people who have been able to construct and when you enter into this field, you should be sure of what you are doing. So that is why we are specialized with uh, different people in different uh, sections and we have four men who are heading each different section at a particular time. And also we have our quality controller from the company who oversees everything is done according to the, uh, uh, the designation of the engineer and the architect. I commend people, clients to come from all over the world because our houses, it's very hard to have a defect from our structures because every detail of our structure is fully recommended by uh, qualified engineers and people of that category as we continue and we use quality materials and we are getting also our suppliers are designated uh, who are dealers known by the companies they get the best quality from the factories and then that is where we get our materials and then we pay them probably so that they may supply our materials at the right time so that we cannot have delay of the works as we continue. Thank you so much also to our contractor the main contractor that is Alvonet. Thank you so much to our consultant. We can't forget uh, Mukiri and Mukiri Global Advocates. You have been very instrumental in advices, legal advices to the company and also clients who are buying with us. You sell them through the process of uh, purchase, which is very really a bit sometimes is very really complicated. But because of the effort that you usually put into that work, it has become very easy. We, we are working uh, in terms of uh, doing environments, we, we, we do have environments day where we go out and as part of our agenda in doing the greening, uh, we uh, participate with, with the other uh, neighbours to do tree planting to make sure that our, our environment here is uh, as conducive as possible. Uh, there's something that we, we, we indicated to, to us. Anytime we have, uh, we are near a place where we can provide support like water. Once we drill and we can provide the water to some of our, the facilities that are pub, for, of public use, like to churches free of charge, we pipe the water to them and that become our contribution to the society. Mimi, Naka, Karibu na hii shamba ya chad, Naka kwa kanisa. Hii kanisa yetu inaitwa Crystal Fountain. New life. This is the Majilani Wai Estate. Tangu ni jua hii Rio Estate ni rijuria ikiwa ukwa kesha. Ndiyo yamia hapa. Na hapa hii Estate itatusaidia kwanza watu wetu wengi wanakaa na saiti sa Mururongo, na uko, at river, wengine wanatoka isinya. Estate ikiwa hapa karibu itasaidi, itafuta wale watu wenye wanakaa hapo, wanunua hapa karibu. Ya pili, hii Estate ikiwa hapa karibu ina improve security wise estate ikiendelea kuchengwa jana wa hapa wamepata kazi kwa sababu huwa wanakuja kibarua wanaripwa so hautapata vijana amekaa hapo kwa barabara bure juu kuna mahali kazi iko resources penye wamechimba maji iko hata sasa hapa shida ya maji itakuwa ni ngumu kwa sababu shida ya maji tu ni kama kwa suruhisho kwa sababu maji washachimba kanisa itapata maji na na wata, watakuwa wanatumia hiyo maji sasa watakuwa wananunua maji watakuwa hata kama watakuwa wananunua ile yenye wangekuwa wananunua watawakalia ita, rais kwa sababu maji watakuwa wanafutiwa na iko karibu nao watatumia of course in the future we have uh, dreams of having a foundation that will look into the affairs of uh, persons with disabilities and vulnerable groups. We would like to have uh, a capacity building training institute where we are giving them skills, where we are 
helping them to establish their talents, where we are helping them in marketing the product that they may be doing. And, and we are praying that we will be able to, the dream that we have will come to reality and we will be able to impact on the lives of those children as they grow to adulthood. That is a thought that is still in development that will become one of the major uh, CSR uh, in the future. There are so many challenges the developers encounter uh, in the field of development. Uh, as you are starting off, uh, first of all, you, you get a challenge of even how to acquire land because uh, there are so many fraudsters out there where you may go view very nice looking land and uh, by the time you are getting into the transaction, you realize it's, uh, it's not genuine. So that is one of the aspects that um, is challenging for a developer. And uh, what we have been doing is uh, so that we do not encounter, because we have faced uh, those cha uh, uh, challenges uh, previously, although uh, we never fell into the traps of the fraudsters, uh, but we, we almost got there. And uh, we have a legal team that helps us to do uh, due diligence. Of course, we would do our own due diligence, uh, but we also get our legal team involved so that when we are uh, purchasing the land to do our development, uh, we've, it is a genuine land, it is not uh, a road reserve or uh, stolen and therefore at that particular point we, we secure the investment. The other challenge that we face of course when it gets now to approvals, designs, selecting the designs and all that, um, because you may not know how uh, the product will fare in the market, we collect a lot of data from, from clients, uh, both those that uh, may have visited us and those that may have bought property from us in the past so that they can help us to package a product that will sell in the future. It, it, it's a challenge because if you do a bad product, then you will remain in the market with that product and you will not sell it. So we engage in uh, a lot of data collection so that we are able to design a product that will be able to sell to our clients and it will uh, succeed in the market. The future of Child Africa is very bright. We are anticipating to do very many other projects within Kitegera and now outside the Kitegera. From our clients' recommendations, they would like us to go to other places like the Ka Road, Hong Road, Kagudo Road, and such other areas. We, we had clients also telling us that we go to Nakuru, Kisumu, Mobasa, and eventually we'll be there. We have a problem with unemployment. And as a company, we would like to fill that gap. We have already started an internship program. My name is Neema Mwenjo. I am in the sales and marketing department, Chad Africa. I have been here for two and a half months. My sister introduced me to Chad Africa Limited. Uh, she got to know it through social media. I did my research about the company and I found out that they had opportunities for internship. And then uh, what what, uh, what wowed me even more is that they were, they were giving out opportunities for what I've learned and I really got the chance to apply and got the opportunity. My day-to-day -day activities include attending clients uh, who come to do the site visits. I take them to the site, they see the house and also I pick up calls from clients who, uh, who we interact with. I also create content for social media platforms. My name is Fala Mamboy, I'm an interior design student. Lucky and grateful to have gotten the opportunity to learn from Chad Africa Limited. I learned about Chad Africa through research as I was looking for places to get an attachment opportunity. I was interested by Chad Africa because of the modern contemporary top-notch designs and sent my application. I reported to Acacia Premier Villas, one of their completed projects. I received a warm welcome where I got to learn about the about how a completed project is undertook, what happens, what is done, how to interact with, with clients and different people. 
then I reported to Pine Brook, which is another project, an ongoing construction project. It has been a wonderful experience. It's such a friendly and wonderful community. Everyone is ready to help and teach you where you, you would like to know more. I can highly recommend fellow students and other interested people in the construction industry to Chad Africa as a learning and growth opportunity. It's a wonderful chance where you get to learn and grow in all aspects from the industry to interaction with fellow people and growth. Because what we have realized is that for when the student graduates from the university, they are not uh, having good skills to enable employers to employ them and therefore as Chad Africa we have, will be taking uh, a few of them in the three departments that I mentioned that is uh, in finance, in marketing and also in technical department. I want to encourage this girl from the rural area and also from the slums in the urban setup that you can also make it. We started very small as a as an individual even when we are growing up and as a company and we, here we are now we are thanking god for the achievement that we have been able to achieve so what i would like to urge you is that you work hard whatever you are doing please work very hard work smart also make sure that god is on your in your equation of everything that you are doing recently this you have heard that uh, there is a deficit of 2.5 million houses in the country. Chad Africa uh, will be able to take uh, a big portion of that in fulfillment of what the government of Kenya would like to achieve in addressing the housing problem in the country. Our next estate, of course, we, we are hoping to even grow bigger because uh, the problem of housing is still big and uh, we are hoping to make a small contribution into the government agenda uh, of providing uh, housing of course uh, with the previous uh, regime that was one of the four key agenda uh, agendas for development and uh, we have also learned in the in the uh, coming governments uh, each of the uh, of the governments we are looking forward also to, to the housing agenda and so we, we are also we are hoping to uh, expand further so that we can pro pro provide solution to even more people. So for our next estate um, we are hoping to have an estate called uh, Courtyard uh, Premier Villas and we are expecting that it will be bigger than uh, this, this one, uh, providing solution to uh, many more people in the future.